Yo, what's going on, sexy similars for today? We're here doing a ranked 1v1, and I am playing a bit of Artemis. A bit of Dread Dread Dead? Dread Captain Artemis. Fighting a set. Kind of a scary matchup because if he has beads, he just does the crap out of me. Uh, but also I think Set is in a terrible place right now. Unironically. I think he's like probably one of the worst assassins. Uh, the reason is that he, uh, ever since 9.5, he's had a hard time like blowing people up. If you don't know what 9.5 is, it's the patch that gave everyone a lot of protections and a lot of HP. Uh, I think it's like 40% HP and 20% more protections or something like that. It might, I might be wrong about the numbers, but it was a lot. It's, I, if anything, I'm low on my numbers. Anyways, that doesn't matter too much. The reason I think Seth's not good, plus 9.5, is that he's received like four nerfs after that. And so now, even if you build him like ultra high damage, where you just <laughs> you try so hard to just absolutely slam your enemies into the ground with like six damage items no defensive items at all uh he just kind of doesn't do anything like damage wise it's just not very fast so i don't think like even though i i think this is kind of a bad matchup for me because he gets speeds he can run me down uh i'm also like not scared at all especially the later it goes I'm a little nervous for the early game because, like I said, I am going crit. Full crit, which is uh, a little spooky. It's a very, very expensive build, so I'm going to be behind most of the game. But I think if I just, you know, hold my nerves when he ults me, I wait out his ult or, or his beads or something. I should be chilling. All right, he got both blues. I got red. I'm going to get XP camp as well. Um, oh, he is level 5, actually. Could come Merc. Right. I'm now level 5 also. Alright. Place that down. Then you're going to feed. And then you die. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly how I wanted it to go. Now he's got no beads for when I alt him, which I'm probably not going to do because he started Jotuns and I started Devos, so I'm not going to do with too much damage. I'm only going to alt defensively for a little bit because it's going to take me 16 decades to get my crit online. Uh, good chance. So I'm not going to go fail not because Deathbringer Glyph, devoted Deathbringer, gives you 25% more crit chance than what you built. So if you have like I don't know. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. That's mine. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Wait. Okay, it's yours. Sorry. I shouldn't have fought him. You know how when I was saying like I wasn't going to fight him and then because he got Yones and I got Devos and it takes forever to stack? Yup. Yup. I remember that. That's okay. Oh, he got beat. Okay. That's weird. I mean, I, it's a lot of da It's more damage than Jotun's. But it doesn't give you any cooldown, which is weird. Why did his tower just turn green for a second? Am I insane? Stop. Oh, we ulted this is not going to go your way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect the grind. I respect W keying the fuck out of me for no reason. But, uh... Like, at the very best, what happens for him there is that we trade. Which is good for me. Because he just got the kill, which means I'd get the revenge goal. And he would have killed me again before I get the return kill for my tower shot. So <laughs> the very best thing that happens is we trade kills and I get 30% more gold for it. Which obviously is not very good for him. 
I have no health and no mana and no shell. I should probably back. Remind that. The sea. So I'm going to go rage, obviously. And then I'll probably go rage, demon blade, deathbringer, and those three items by themselves are going to give me over 100% crit chance. So I do have room to go XE and stuff still, if I want, or dominance, or, you know, whatever. Can I have that, please? All right, fine. I did say please. Nice. He had no mana. No mana at all. I don't know what he was doing. He just walked at me. I guess he didn't really walk at me. He walked past me to go somewhere else. I'm just, just going to let that slide, man. My Devos is only 37 stacks in. So there's a few changes. Obviously, the stacking items. I only made one video, I think, so far in season 11. A storm. So I should probably talk about it. Uh, stacking items no longer stack off of last hits of minions or gods. They only stack off of damage dealt to minions or gods. Um, obviously, damage dealt to gods is going to be twice as effective. Okay, I don't know why he did that. Uh, damage dealt to gods is going to be twice as effective than damage dealt to minions. But uh, that does mean in dual, stacking items are very, very, very slow to stack. Because, uh, well, you only got one person to hit. And you only got one wave to hit. The crit chance is not that good. It doesn't have speeds up. Um, I don't think he's going to do too much with his ult to me. I do have shell as well. Nice. Very, very nice shell. He did not expect it. He did not expect it. So he got full demon, but he didn't actually get anything from it. I got a rage stack too, which is actually awesome. Remind you. Them who rules the sea. Second relic. I really want horrific, but he's slow immune in his three, so I feel like it's kind of useless to go horrific. I could just grab an Aegis to maybe, like, if I time it perfectly, I could immune the bulk of his damage from his ult. But I also feel like I'd rather just go shell or something. Or not shell, um, thorns. I don't know why. For some reason, my brain just wants to call Thorn's shell. Are you can run now. Are you going to do blue? Is your blue up? I would love it if I could have that. It's not even up. Oh, it's up. Oh. All right. So I, I don't know the best way to build crit chance here. I There's two things you can do. Obviously, Demon Blade or obviously death right the thing about deathbringer and why it's so good to get early on is because of devoted deathbringer the glyph the one that multiplies your crit chance makes it so like your rage is just better and it gives you 30 percent crit chance by itself so like i guess technically it gives you like more than i think it's probably worth it to get deathbringer next Does he have beads? I'm pretty sure he does because he didn't beads last time we fought. I want to fight him. All right. He has second relic now. Wonder what he got. We didn't get a second. All right. I'm going to grab a Deathbringer because I have enough for it. A storm is and I'm gonna grab thorns. Um, so my crit chance with only rage and devoted deathbringer is 84%, which is just insane. 
Because technically, I should only have 67%. But then you get an extra 25% of that on top. Because you spent 600 gold. Like, isn't that insane? So I basically crit every auto attack now. Oh, thought I went that way. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought I caught him. Right, he has beads, right? He's not scary in his ult if he doesn't have his three up. So this ult is kind of a waste. Get his beads. Oh, never mind. Rendered. Dang it, man. All right, let's double feature it. That was too short. I'll do a second crit Artemis game or crit hunter game. Maybe a different hunter to make it a little bit more fun to watch. Who knows? I'll see you guys next game. What up, gamers? Welcome back. I'm fighting another set, Masters Border this time. So I don't think it's the same guy that I just fought. And I'm playing Chernobog this time. Because he banned Artemis. I don't know why he banned Artemis. But he did. Uh, but now I'm going to crit Chernobog, which is a lot less a lot less good than crit Artemis. I mean, honestly, that's probably not true. I think crit Chernobog is actually fine. Um, actually, crit any god is like very good. But, uh, well, not any god. Crit any hunter is very good. But we'll see. He's going to have beads. I'm not going to have a way to get him off me, though, is the issue. When we fight. I'm going to have to, like, hang out in the wall and hope that he, he fucks up or something. I'm also, uh, I, I don't think... I just heard you moving. Hold on. Hold on, gamers. Minions have spawned. Anyways, um, I think As the world that I have to go, uh, What is it? What is it called? Griffin Wing. This game because I don't have a lot of peel, so I can't like poke around and get devos online very quick. I just have to kind of vibe with it, which is a little on fort, but also it's fine. He went horrific. Nice, not at all. Oh, he does a lot more damage. Fine by me. His horrific is down. Alright. Horrific down, boys. And he didn't even need to alt for it. That's really good. Alright, I can get Griffin Wing. I'm gonna alt him because I can. My alt is kind of useless, so. So, because of the fact that my alt is kind of useless, I'm literally just using it to get to lane faster and farm faster. I didn't want to miss any minions. The sky falls. Um. Now, I could still go Devos here. I think I will, probably. I might just go Aussie, actually. Aussie is still a very, very strong item. And you don't need to stack it, which is positive. I will take it. Now, he's going to get pretty much every one of these. Every Meteor. Because I can't compete with him early game. I need to wait till I get my crit chance online. He is going to go Spectral, but I mean... Oh, definitely. So much happening here. Not much happening here. As the world crumbles. Nice. 
Nice. Nice. He has he is horrific. So uh obviously he's gonna think that he wins that fight. But he didn't have horrific for the fight. And I was pretty certain that he thought that like because he had alt up and I'm Chernabog that he just wins by default. Which is a huge benefit to me because it means he's gonna be super cocky. Perfect. Perfect, dude. So I wanted red buff, but I thought because he died, he's going to respawn a little bit, you know, lower than me. Um, I'm able to get my blue buff and drop down on red buff as well. I don't need to wait. And I was actually correct, which is super interesting because I didn't think I would be. Let's grab this now. Um, so we're up a kill and buff control. Aussie is only one XP camp away. I'm not going to group everything together because obviously he wants to steal it. The sky flies, the world crumbles. Yeah, I am, uh, I am definitely out farming him really heavy right now. Now I got the Aussie online. There's nothing up on the map. I mean, you don't bother me at all. You do not scare me at all. Very good. Very good. The stars shine. All right, so when he alts, and if his if his three is active while he's alting, his three lasts eight seconds, and I can stay in the wall for, I think, four seconds. One second of dashing, and three seconds of inside the wall. So I can be immune for half of the duration of his two, or his three, um, which is very, very good. I do have Aussie now for that life steal. There we go. And now I can start getting that crit chance online. I hate it that sometimes the rocks get stuck in the wall there. We got some tankiness on him. Got some tankiness on him. Did you finish the breastplate? So obviously I want to poke him right here because there's red buff up in a second, and I want I want the buff, right? So I want him to have to back out so I can get the buff for free. Because if I secure this buff, that basically guarantees my blue buff now. I can go into some crit. And second relic. I think I'm still going to go thorns. The way thorns works, by the way, is it does not reflect damage. It's kind of like a Pridwin proc now. So, like, you take a bunch of damage during the thorns. And then it will proc after, I think, five seconds. And do 50% of that damage back towards them. So it's like a it's like a reverse bracer. You know how bracer used to work where you could like um you could heal a percentage of health that they uh that they did to you. It's that, but now it's uh As the world crumbles, we hold on. I don't want them to get these things for free. The sky falls. Very nice. Very nice. So he was he was being greedy for the treasure chest there. I noticed when he when he wasn't backing. Because I would have heard his backing animation. 
And so when I knew he wasn't backing, I knew he was getting greedy. Which meant I, I was pretty sure I could kill him. If I ult him, maybe he dashes away. But the problem with his greed is that he dashed away initially. So he couldn't dash away again, obviously. And I have Rage now, so I have some crit chance. Next item, Devoted Deathbringer. Obviously going to give me over 80% crit chance. Very, very, very strong. And for those who don't know, your uh, your two on Chernobog can crit because your two is basically just an auto attack. The way it is in the game. It, it is taught as basically just an auto attack. He's going to go probably beat stick, and he's also probably going to go into a spectral. Two things you can almost guarantee this game. Which leaves only two item slots. And there's no way you don't go anti heal, right? That'd be ridiculous. Yeah, he takes so much damage. You. And now you need 2150 gold from tier one Deathbringer to uh, fully upgrade Deathbringer, I believe. I'm sorry, you need 2800 gold. All right, that's a free red buff for me. Backing. I actually could alt him right now. Because he just dashed over the wall. He just dashed over the wall, which means he's got no getaway. I could have ulted him when I heard him back. That would have been a smart play. Unfortunately for me, I'm not the smartest intellectual gamer there is. But I'm going to steal your blue buff now. He is going spectral. Obviously very expected. The thing is, I don't mind Spectral that much. You cannot comprehend. All right, so the reason I'm able to dash aggressively on him there is because uh, he knows that without his three, his alt really isn't going to be doing any, any damage. So... I can dash aggressively while his three is coming off cooldown. If he alts and turns on me, he knows nothing's going to come of it. So. so I can be aggressive there. Grab this. Okay. Perfect. So he thought he could win that fight because he was like using everything on me. And I had him back in a really long time. However, it doesn't really work that way. It doesn't really work that way. I used my thorns, and the reason I used my thorns and I took all that damage is because I wanted um the damage to pop while I was in the wall. Because like if I use thorns and then go in the wall, there's literally no point in me having the thorns. Because it only does damage based on what you took. So I sat there and I took the damage. Apparently, apparently I took about, you know, 600. Um, and just so Thorns can take it back. So I got devoted Deathbringer. He has Spectral now, so I'm not going to be critting for as much. But the thing about this is that it doesn't really matter how much I'm critting for. It just matters that I'm critting. All right, I hear him backing, which means, okay, never mind, I'm garbage. If his dash was down, I could have probably killed if I ulted earlier. I need to think about that more. My thought process is so bad. Go ahead, go ahead, get over here. Now you don't have your three up, I don't care. I don't care, no three, no problem, baby. So he went aggressive because red buff was spawning, obviously. Can 
and I can just kind of greed my way around. And I can go Demon Blade next item. And then after Demon Blade, I'm going to go Dominance. Because Demon Blade gives me 10% crit chance, and then Dominance gives me another 20% crit chance on my autos. I'm going to have 30% crit chance plus a little bit of base pen from Aussie. I'm going to I'm going to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, I can just be like hyper aggressive here. probably wants me to back so i don't think he's gonna stop my back i'm gonna buy wards i almost never buy wards but i'm gonna ward here and here uh or maybe maybe here and here i don't know the sky falls. with demon blade though my my crit chance is well over 100 percent, so i'll crit every auto attack nowhere is safe uh which means my two will always crit as well Yeah, like there there goes his entire ult. There goes his literal entire ult. nice gamer and actually with that kill with that kill i think i'm able to just straight up get the phoenix i don't need to do bull demon anymore use the two for the attack speed obviously i probably used it a little prematurely but I mean, look at this crit chance, dude. How are you ever supposed to just, like, beat it? You know what I mean? Okay, so I got dominance. Okay, I don't have dominance. I mean, him stopping my back is actually kind of nice. Okay, he ulted and horrific. I literally can just wait it out and then shield myself with my one but that's literally everything he has i mean i guess he still has thorns technically but like he's not gonna kill me with the thorns all right let's go back we'll grab dominance And a 500 pot. And now I have 100% crit chance, 30% pen on my auto attacks, which is almost all my damage, and uh, 322 power. Not to mention life steal. This is the crit build, man. This is the crit build. I mean, it's so absurdly overpowered, to be honest. Like I'm hitting, yeah, 623 on those guys at 2.13 attack speed which does get faster when i crit because you know that's just how demon blade works yeah. interesting that he would just run past me and you can see from that how little spectral matters against his build because even with spectral armor i'm still hitting for over 300 damage per auto attack and i'm still life stealing for a ton of it because of the aussie obviously if you go devos if you have a, a god that can go devos and if you can skip the griffin wing on a god it's way better but it's still not terrible so you know there you go uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time y'all peace